Welcome back in good health this morning. The CDC issuing a warning, warning doctors and parents to be on the lookout for signs of a polio like illness. The exact cause of the illness still a mystery right now, and that's really part of the reason for the warning. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why. The illness is called acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM for short. It causes sudden limb weakness, and we've now seen three outbreaks of it since 2014. It has tended to peak in even years, but the CDC warns cases are occurring every year, and spotting it sooner could hold the key to solving this mystery. On a conference call, the CDC stressed cases of AFM have tended to spike in late summer and early fall. There may have been great awareness among pediatricians last October when the media was covering this extensively, but October was a long time ago, and so we do hope that um, today's report will be a reminder to clinicians and parents. While most parents of children affected have sought quick medical care, there has been a major delay in doctors contacting local health departments and the CDC. Suspected cases were reported to CDC anywhere from 18 to 36 days after onset of limb weakness. This delay hampers our ability to understand the causes of AFM. The CDC says faster notification will help efforts to find the cause and develop better treatments. We really do suspect viruses play a role and enteroviruses among the leading suspects. The CDC says nearly all patients with confirmed cases of AFM had a fever or respiratory illness in the month before they developed paralysis. Now, while there's no cure or specific treatment, early and aggressive physical therapy has helped. The bottom line for parents? The season for enteroviruses is coming and you know if your child develops arm weakness or leg weakness please seek medical care right away now so far there have been 11 confirmed cases of afm this year in eight states none in michigan now the cdc has created a hotline for doctors to give us access to doctors at the cdc because again this is something most doctors have never treated before there is no vaccine against this and the only real defense right now is good hygiene and hand washing back to you